Let us uh, look at this question, which is a question on differential equation, solving differential equation. So the question is, show that x squared plus y squared is equal to cx is the general solution to this differential equation, 2xy times dy by dx minus y squared plus x squared is equal to 0. So when, if you have a normal equation, suppose if you have a linear equation, you get one solution. If you have a quadratic equation, you get uh, you can get two uh, two solution, one solution, or no solution in real numbers. And if it's a cubic, you get three, and so on. So if you have a simple equation of any nature, you get either no solution, one solution, or more than one solution. But when you are solving a differential equation, you get a family of equations. So Basically, this question is you have to solve this and you will get this family of equation. Now, this is uh, this is the equation of a circle. Okay, just to show you uh, one interesting program uh, which is called Graphmatica. Now, I have drawn two circles. So, this, uh, this is a circle uh, with when c is negative 1. If you have Graphmatica, if you type in x squared plus y squared is equal to minus 1x, you get this circle, which has a center of negative half 0 and a radius of 1, okay? And this is, I think, when c is 4, okay? So I'm not going to that. You can do that yourself. You can download this program from the internet, which is free, which is a wonderful. So just to explain, so let me draw one more. So type in x x squared plus y squared like this is equal to say 2x suppose c is 2 and if you go enter this is a circle okay and this has a center of 1 comma 0 and a radius of 2 okay you can do that yourself okay just for just to have fun now they're giving you the hint that you have to take y over x as u or u is y over x. So let me let us write the differential equation 2xy times dy by dx minus y squared plus x squared is equal to 0. Now you want to get x over sorry y over x. So I'm looking how can I get y over x by dividing the whole thing by something. So I look at y squared and say, well, if I divide this by x squared, I get y squared over x squared, which is y over x the whole squared. Okay? And if I divide this by x squared, that will be 1. That's fine. And if you divide this by x squared, you will again get y over x. So I'm going to divide the whole thing by y x y. Sorry, x squared. I'm dividing this by x squared. I'm going to divide this by x squared, this by x squared, and also the constant or 0 by x squared. Okay? So here what can what will happen? This x and one of the x's will get cancelled, so you'll get y over x. So so this becomes 2y over x times dy by dx minus y over x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we know we can do substitution of y over x as u. So let us do the substitution. So I can say 2u times dy by dx uh, minus u squared plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is very untidy in the sense you got three variables or three unknowns. So you got y, x, and u. So I want to change this into u, two variables. So let me draw a line here, a dividing line. Okay, so let me write what is y. y is y is y over x is u. So I can say y is u x. So let me differentiate both sides with respect to x. So I can say d by dx of y is equal to d by dx of u. Now, 
here we have to again use a chain rule and differentiate. So this is d by dx of y is nothing but dy by dx is equal to using the chain rule d by dx of u d by dx of u times x plus d by dx of x times u. So I can say dy by dx is equal to x times du by dx and what is d by dx of x? That's 1 times u is u. So I want you to think now what can we do? Can we do a substitution now? I want you to look carefully in this and this. What can I do? I've got a dy by dx here. You've got a dy by dx. So in place of dy by dx, I can put this whole thing. So change color. So I can say 2u times dy by dx is, I'll write u first, u plus x times du by dx in place of dy by dx minus u squared plus 1 is equal to 0. So let us expand this. So this is 2u squared plus 2ux times du by dx minus u squared plus 1 is equal to 0. So what can you simplify? You can simplify. You got a u. You have got a 2u squared here and a u squared there. So, so this becomes 2u x times du by dx plus u squared plus 1. So now I want to separate the u's and the x's. Okay, so you've got all a mixture of u and x. I don't want to uh, separate the u's and x. So what will I do? So this is 2ux times du by dx is equal to, when you take this uh, to the other side, I hope you can understand minus I'm factoring out is u squared plus 1. I want the u's and x is together so I can see x and a dx here so I'm go I want to move this to the other side and this to this side so I can say 2u over 1 plus u squared du is equal to 1 over x dx so this is a big step I hope you understand so I'll put a minus here so basically what has happened is this has come down this has gone up okay whichever way you understand this is what will happen. Okay, so now you have got your du with your u's and your dx with x. So the next step is to integrate both sides. So therefore, this is integration of 2u over 1 plus u squared du is equal to minus integration over x, 1 over x dx. Now this looks to be a daunting. There's a very neat formula for calculus student, very powerful formula. There's a formula like this. You don't need to remember the formula. I'll show you how to do without the formula. So the formula is integration of f dash x over f of x dx. f of x dx is natural log of f of x plus c. Uh, for the, you can prove this formula, but uh, in some cases, if you remember this formula, you can do your uh, your work quite fast. Now, how am I relating with this with this? So if this is your f of x, 1 plus u squared is f of x. I hope you can see f dash x is 2u. So you can directly write natural log of 1 plus u squared in the next step. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a substitution. In the exam, I don't want my students to remember anything. If you remember, it's good. But even if you don't remember, you should know how to do it. So I'm going to do, I'm going to branch, I'm going to explain this. I'll come back to this later. So let me do a star here. So let w is equal to u squared plus 1 or 1 plus u squared. I'm going to differentiate 
uh, both the side or I'm going to differentiate with respect to u. So d by du of w is equal to d by du of u squared plus d by du of 1. So this becomes d by du of w is nothing but dw by du. This is 2u and d by du of 1 is 0. So this implies uh, 2u du is equal to dw. 2u du is equal to dw. So, so I can say now in place of 2u du, in place of 2u du, I can put dw and in place of 1 plus u squared I can put w. So now the left hand side would become integration of 1 over w dw is equal to minus integration of 1 over x dx and you should know the integration of 1 over x dx is natural log of modulus of x. So this will become uh, natural log natural log of w is equal to natural log of modulus of x plus c. Okay. Now you know w is u squared plus 1 or 1 plus u squared. So I can say I have to put a minus here. So this is a natural log of 1 plus u squared is equal to minus natural log of x plus c. Okay. So this will become uh, um, this can be written as natural log of 1 plus u squared is equal to uh, c minus natural log of x. Okay, so what can we do now? Uh, you can do, this is, um, this is same as, uh, I can write this as natural log of 1 plus u squared. This is natural log c is a constant and that is natural log of say let me say that is a uh, minus natural log of x so natural log of 1 plus u squared you can do in shorter steps is same as natural log of a over x using the log rules when you take away logs you divide by so now both side has got natural log so i can say 1 plus u squared is equal to a over x Okay, and what is u squared? u squared, u is y over x. So u squared is y squared over x squared. So 1 plus y squared over uh, y squared over yeah, uh, x squared is equal to a over x. Now the problem is uh, we can write this instead of writing c, I could have written as oops I could have written as because I want this is same as natural log of C so I'll change this because it's an arbitrary constant so you can take that as natural log of C it's a natural log of C so you don't need an A there because ultimately we don't need A or C doesn't matter as such uh, because it's only an arbitrary constant but I want that letter C there because I could see that I will not get C in the final answer. C or A doesn't matter because it is an arbitrary constant. Okay, so this is ultimately, uh, this is, okay, so this is natural log A C over X. Okay, so yeah, cross multiplying or can I write this as x squared over x squared plus y squared over x squared is equal to cx over x squared. So you can multiply. Uh, so what will happen? The x squared can be cancelled. So this is nothing but 
x squared plus y squared is equal to cx. So this is nothing but the equation of a circle. Okay, now the, the question is finally, uh, what's the final question? Also sketch uh, or describe a particular solution for the constant c is equal to 4. So this is an equation of a circle, but so you'll have to show this. So can I write this as x squared minus cx plus y squared is equal to 0. I've le left a space here. I'm doing completing of squares. So what is uh, what is half of c? Half of c is c over 2 and then square it. That is c squared over 4. So if you have c squared over 4 on this side, you have to add c squared over 4 on the other side. So this becomes, let me change color. So this becomes x minus c over 2 the whole squared plus y squared is equal to c squared over 4. So this is nothing but a circle center, circle with center uh, c over 2, you can say circle with center c over 2 comma 0 and the radius of c by 2. Okay, so they are saying uh, when c is 4, what type of graph will you get or what type of solution will you get? So let us say uh, c is equal to 4. So if you put c is equal to 4, this will become x minus 2 squared plus y squared is equal to mm, c squared is 16 over 4 is 4. So this is a circle with center uh, center 2, 0 and the radius of 2. Uh, am I right? Radius of 2. Yeah, so c squared is 16 over 4 is the radius of 2. And so this is the solution. Okay, the particular solution is a circle with center 2, 0 and the radius of 